This device right here is called the Hipshot 10300C, and I'm telling you, it's an absolute game changer. I can't believe it took me this long to discover it, but it's one of those things that allows you to create completely unique sounds on an otherwise ordinary guitar. And today I'm gonna to tell you all about it, but before I do that, I'll quickly let you know that the holiday sale is now on over my course platform, samuraiguitartheory.com. Over there, I've got five courses where I teach the system I use for making music. If you're looking to learn music theory from the ground up, my course, The Rudiments, is a place to start, and then beyond the basics continues to the intermediate and advanced level. For the soloist, looking to reshape the way they think of solos so that they're telling musical stories. Instead of just playing notes, the craft of soloing is for you. And if you want to learn the fun stuff that brings a solo to life, I'd recommend the style of soloing. For a limited time, you can get any individual course half off with promo code HOLIDAY22 or use that same promo code on any of the bundles to get multiple courses for the normal price of one. You can find more information at samuraiguitar3.com. I'll also put a link in the description. Anyways, let's get back to it. Okay, so there are three things that this gadget does. First of all, if I press down this lever here, it raises the pitch of my G string. I can drop the pitch of my low E string by flicking this here. Or I can raise the pitch of my B string by using this thing here and that would be controlled by pressing against the side of my body. So basically it allows me to raise or lower the pitch of individual strings without using my fretting hand. This is a fairly simple concept but it leads to some previously inaccessible sounds. Check it out. that received this mod is a Fender American Ultra Lux Surf Green Telecaster. Telecasters are by no means the only compatible guitar, but they're typically the model used as this system is most often used for country guitar and country music and Telecasters go hand in hand. The mod consists of adding this 10300C system. However, you'll likely also need to put on a specialized bridge. I'll show you why shortly. First things first, strings come off. And so does the old bridge. Now the important difference between the bridge that came with the guitar and the new bridge is that on the new bridge, there are holes all along the back here. What's gonna happen is the string is gonna go over top of the saddle through this hole and then the bender system is gonna pull on that string. On the old bridge, there is no place for it to go through. We then screw down the new bridge, position the bender unit and secure it using the strap pin. I've strung up the A, D, and high E string as those go through the body as they would on a normal telly. Whereas the other three strings go through the hip shot and then through a silicone sleeve that protects them from rubbing against the bridge and then around the tuning machine. And now that we're all strung up, the only thing left to do is make sure that the notes that we're gonna be bending to are in tune. And we do that by adjusting these knobs down here. Now the concept of a string bending system has been around since 1968 when Gene Parsons and Clarence White invented what was called the Parsons White pull string, which later became referred to as just a B bender. The original bending system is a fair bit different than mine. It's built into the guitar and you activate it by pulling up on your strap, which pulls a strap button, activating a mechanism that goes through the body and then pulls on the B string. This is certainly a descendant of that, but the benefit is it's a mod that can be fit on a number of different guitars without having to route out the body or drill any holes in it. String benders are typically found in country music being used by players like Brad Paisley and Brent Mason. And I think this is because they kind of elicit a similar sound as a pedal steel, which is one of those defining textures of the genre. I mean, come on, how much does this sound like the AM radio station your grandpappy would listen to? And one of the unique advantages that this gadget creates is that if you're playing slide guitar, you can now access both minor and major triads. Let me show you what I mean. I'm in E standard tuning, so if I bar these three notes with my slide, I get a minor sound. But if I engage my G bender, I now have a major sound. Without the bender, I only have one of these two options available to me depending on my tuning. And if I pair the slide with the bender and the volume pedal, well, I'm getting really close to a pedal steel sound. Check it out. Now, conceptualizing the new options that the system creates is definitely not the easiest thing for me. I'm very used to seeing guitar in a specific way. So if you throw a wrench or a lever into the equation, it definitely trips me up. At this point, my general thought process is pretty simple. I'll take a chord and if it makes sense for the note on the B string to go up a whole tone, then 
bend on bro and if it makes sense for the note on the G string to go up half step then bend on some more. So with a A major chord for example these notes definitely work. It's especially nice to use this with chords because there's just no way I'm getting those kind of sounds without it. Like I can't bend this string up and play the rest of the chord. It's just not gonna happen. For some single note stuff, there's not a huge advantage. Like take this lick for example. If I play that same thing but incorporate the hip shot, the difference is fairly minuscule. However, once I started looking for single note lines that made sense to incorporate this, I definitely found some interesting things, like check this out. Now I have this tuned so that the G goes up a half step and the B goes up a whole step, but you can play around with this. You can flip it around so that the G goes up a whole step and the B goes up a half step, which opens up some new options. Of course, we haven't talked a whole lot about the lever that switches the E down to a D. It's not the selling point, but it is kind of a nice feature to have in there as a bonus. Say I'm playing a song and I want to use my normal chord shapes, but every now and then I want to get that low D. Well, this makes it possible. Otherwise, I would have to adjust the tuning. Take a listen. So there you have it, that is the Hipshot 10300C GB Bender. I'm still in the early stages of figuring out how to play this thing. It's a challenge, but it's a fun challenge. I'm absolutely loving the sounds I've been able to get out of this. I think my only complaint is that the hip motion is a bit cumbersome and you always have to use a strap, which I don't love doing. So I've seen some people who've done a mod that replaces the hip thing with a, another palm lever and I think I might look into that. But with all that said, let me play you out with another jam. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That is the Hipshot GB Bender system. If you want to pick up one for yourself, I'll put up a link in the description. And remember, the holiday sale is now on over my course platform. Use promo code HOLIDAY22 to get any individual course half off, or use that same promo code on any of the bundles to get multiple courses for the normal price of one. You can find more information at samurai-theory.com. I'll also put up links for that in the description as well. Thank you all for watching. And I should be thank you to everyone who supports my channel through Patreon. If you want to check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you want to check out some of that Sammy G merch, you can find that at shopsamurayguitarist.com. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and stay tuned for a wide range of music-related content. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.